Welcome in everyone to the Challenge After Show, the Challenge After Show, the best on the web. Uh, my name is Daniel Linger and I'm here with Jenna and Pam. We're talking episode five, Skyfall of the Challenge. Ladies, how are you? Good. We are the so official good. after show of the challenge, self-branded. Um, this was great. So great. Yeah. More official than the MTV Aftermath, more official than the MTV podcast. We're the official after show, though. None of them have an after show. Mm, there it is. Mm-hmm. And yet all their sh air after their show. So kind of, but whatever. You know what? We are right, Pam. We are the after show. And next. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they, exactly. <laughs> let's talk Fessy and Corey. They open up the episode. Okay. Corey, he, he is mad. He is not having what Fessy did. Ladies, give me your thoughts and then I'll give you mine. Totally Agreed. rational. He, right. But um, rational in a way where I feel like he almost could have gotten more heated. It was a little anticlimactic, right? Fessy kind of got a little bit of a free pass in this whole burning down the house. We have this amazing talking head song bringing us back into the house. We're like, oh, hell yeah. Let's lay into Fessy. And then it was just kind of like, dude, we're not friends anymore. Agree. A hundred percent. It was like he came in hot. He was like, oh, I'm going to say something to him. He's not getting off scot free. And then again, I agree that for Corey, you don't want to make an enemy of Fessy game wise. So you, he wanted to say his piece, speak his piece tactfully. And I think he did in that regard. Like if he was like, I hate, like he's going to silently go after him, which I think Corey, I love you. You're learning. Corey's finally learning to like not open his mouth every second, every emotion, because he can still go after Fessy without proclaiming he's going after Fessy which is the smartest move. Ladies, let me- I agree. And I do think, sorry, go ahead, Dan. Well, I was just going to say, um, you know, so Fessy's all about, I don't know. He's like, well, I had, if, if I didn't go in against Nelson, Josh was going to go in against Nelson. And either way, uh, I was losing a friend. So I might as well get my gold skull. And even though it's an excuse, he is kind of right. And he is being- no. But that's okay too, in my head, because he needs a gold skull and there's only eight of them. But anyways, that's just where I was coming from. I don't, I, don't, I think it, from what we saw, at least, it appeared that him and Corey and Nelson had become real friends with their alliance. And I don't recall Bessie and Josh ever having any any sort of friendship or bond beyond Big Brother. Like well, they didn't really like each other. He said that, you know, that's why if, if, it, if it was Josh versus Nelson, either way, one of his friends is going home. So no, like, no, 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 no. he was like, no, no he's like I should throw myself in because it doesn't matter. That's what Fessy was saying. That's Again, he well, Fessy, boo. God love Josh. Josh just needs to be included. Okay. He needs to be involved in this fight somehow. He's, he's getting out there. He's getting his name in the mix. He just wants to be included in this. <laughs> By any means. And remember when Josh- Physical, I want it. You, I told you that's what I wanted, only physical. That's what he said. Ma'am, you okay. want physical. Okay, so we're gonna launch into this gossip brought to us by MTVT. So thank you so much for giving it. Um, apparently, and this isn't a huge secret because apparently Tori's made it public, very public. Uh, Josh told Tori he did not want to go against Nelson. That if it was Nelson, not to send him in. So again, when Tori saying, oh, I don't know why I'm the enemy now. I thought I was doing everyone a favor. She thought she was letting Fessy get his skull, sparing Josh of going against Nelson, which she said he didn't want to do. Why was Josh making such a big hubbub up on the top level there saying, just put me in, put me in. Yeah. Well, that's what's even creepier because yeah. he's a nutter. And the other thing is that that's why Fessy was like, because Tori told Fessy he said that, and he was like, I like you didn't, you were scared to go in. You were scared to go in. You didn't want to go in. Like yeah. it's like, who do you think you're fooling by throwing a temper tantrum? That's where yeah. Josh's delusion, I think he's like delusional. Like, do you think it's delusion or do you think it's acting because the cameras are around? It's reality TV. I mean, he has to understand that at this point. I hate to like out Tori and Fessy as clearly being something, whether they're mm. actively cheating or not, but he was like, we can just look at each other and know what we're thinking. Like, obviously there's some camaraderie 
or more going on between them. Josh would be mental to think that Tori isn't telling Fessy what he said. So I think it's like a little mental because the things he says are so embarrassing. Like he's never accurate. Like he's always like, Talk, I, I think everybody in the house and all of the viewers like us, we kind of have Josh's number. Like we get that he's just always smoke and mirrors. Like he's always talking this stuff, but we never see him like actually but, but I think step up. And we were kind of seeing through this a facade right. of I want to go is, in. I want to go in. What right. is interesting is a couple seasons ago, I, I liked Pam. I liked I, mean, I liked Josh Pam. And, I liked you. And I know that Benny also, remember, remember Benny, our old castmate, he liked he liked Josh too. And, yeah, you guys and, just and people gave you so much crap on the on our in our comment section, Pam, for you not liking him. And now it really is. We've all kind of gone to the other side because Josh, because he's not in thing, a good light anymore. I I don't. I used to like him. I don't really like his character horribly anymore. Horribly unlikable, and it's more exaggerated now. But the other seasons, he was often doing this to Polly, who's also polarizing. So when you see him coming after like a Nelson of everybody and it's gone banana jay he came after jay i know that was right. i don't think anyone could dislike jay josh has proved himself to be loopy i think and i, I always think talk josh and i said it again last week and i'm in no way a, a someone who is an expert who can diagnose people but i do feel a little bit like he has a complex right like he doesn't seem to get along with the men in the house and i think Maybe there's a little bit of like an inferiority complex or something where he's never Absolutely. meshed with them. And I, I feel like it's so telling. He gets in fights with every dude on the show and is friends with all of the women. And he seems to connect with them more, which is not, not a problem. But I think there's some deeply rooted like insecurity there. Again, not an expert. We're all insecure. I now. agree. I get it. But it just, it comes off and you see, and I think his anger is like misdirected and it's kind of like obvious now. I think if, now. if I second it together, our opinions become expert. Yeah, and I psychologist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I super second it. And also you're entirely right. Like he, you know, the best offense is a good defense or the best defense is a good offense. He's the epitome of that. It's like, screw you for not sending me in. It's like, what? You asked not to be sent in. Yeah. Either you're, delusional or putting on a really good show but either way it's unappealing so yeah you both brought up tori i want to get into tori next um she's calling out some of the rookies saying that they're weak players she calls out amber m she calls out gabby she calls out big t and she says basically you know i would prefer to go into an elimination against uh amber m and i just want to can i ask a question you sure can ask as many as you like. Is that calling them out or is that just stating I'd rather go against tiny people that I outweigh and I'm stronger than? And I and Pam, I'm glad I, I was I'm shocked you're on my side on this. I don't think there's anything wrong with her calling them weak. We don't even know what they've done yet. Amber M was she didn't call them weak. She didn't call them weak. She just said if I had to go against anyone, it'd weak. be these. She, she straight up called them weak. Well, I'm a, that's what I'm asking. Did she, like, legit question. Yes. Did yes. she say these girls are weak or did she say, yes. I think I could beat them? She you was using weak. that terminology. She was saying, I want to go in against a weaker girl in the house. Yeah. And I understand feeling offended and insulted if that's some, well, that's what somebody's saying about you. If your name is in that sentence, I get what the rookie girls are feeling. However, this is the terminology that is used season after season. And this is just a game. So right. I'm agreeing with you guys. So Tori is sizing up her competition right. and right. it's like scout it's scouting a team before you play against them. You're going to find what their weaknesses are and what you think you have better than them. So she's saying, I want a gold skull. I feel like X, Y, and Z are the best people for me to get that against. Hell yeah. I want to see them. So what's hard is that the rookie girls have the numbers because they have created a really good group where they have the numbers. So that's what works for them. And they're being smart by teaming up. But I felt really bothered. I felt some type of way when at Deliberation, it bothered me so much that I felt like Anissa and Tori had to explain themselves as to why they were voting the rookie girls. They Every single person puts in rookies every season. Like, I was like, they don't, you don't need to explain yourself, girls. Like, If these rookie girls don't want to be considered weak, volunteer yourself to go in and get a gold skull and prove them wrong. It's 
do your thing. It's go to the proving ground, whatever the hell we're calling it this year, and get it done. And so then they, how can they call you weak if you beat someone, you know, better or bigger or more experienced than you? What is it called this year? <laughs> like, crater? Um, crater. Wait, they did, TJ did use the word the crater this episode. And I was like, when the fuck has it been ever named? <laughs> They're called the crater, what? And, and I do think that the girl, the girls are Tori and Anissa did a good job of saying, no, it's not that we think you're weak. It's that you're unproven. Like, Again, of course, they were talking, talking, talking themselves out of right. going in. Let me let me state this one more time, ladies. Amber M, she was on Are You The One? It's a dating show. Gabby, she was on a show called Love Island. I'm pretty sure that's not some, you know, I'm working out and I'm doing- I watch it. Things. I watch it. It's full on hookup slash trade slash hookup. Right, exactly. Slash so, um, yeah, go in there and prove yourself instead of, and then I, Amber M annoyed me so much. And she's sitting up there. She's like, oh, here's a heart for you. See you later. It's like, girl, you haven't done anything. You would, there's no way okay, you would be so, able to tip over or even throw one medicine ball. Amber M couldn't stand her tonight. Really two, twofold comments to that. A, totally. B, super get the rookies alliance and it's a very smart and i love kyle because he's like these aren't normal rookies they're smart rookies from previous seasons should have been aligning instead of getting picked off so i do believe that they're smart i do believe that they think well i've got as much a right to be here as you do why are you prancing around telling me i'm weak which i agree that the vet's position of, nah, you don't. We don't know what you can do. We don't know who you are is stable. But if you don't have the numbers, you can't pull that shit. Like, yeah. that we can see from the club scene how much butt-ing was going on once Tori and CT won. Yeah. Um, still on team Anissa and Tori here. But, and again, I understand why the rookies would feel insulted if their name is, they're just being told that they suck. You know, it's a natural feeling. But- to Dan's point, well, then do something to prove yourself. What gets you off making you feel like you can be this cocky when it is your rookie season? It's good you guys have strength in numbers, but you're not individually proven. And to Anissa and Tori's point, you're also inexperienced. But what kicked Tori in the ass is how vocally she was expressing it. So I don't think she's wrong in what she was saying, but in hindsight, it probably would have been better if she was laying a little bit more low. Like she was just too expressive with no that No one wants feeling. to hear it. And I think right. there's an assumption from the vets that like the rookies don't matter. That like, you don't have to be shy about saying that because who cares, they're rookies. And it's like, not this time. Ladies, yeah. remember what happened with Jay last year. They all underestimated Jay. He's a rookie and he kept going in there, in there, in there, getting Red Skull, getting Red Skull, beating CT to get a Red Skull. And now look at him. No one's picking on him now. Because he proved himself. Like, but he still had to do it. Right, exactly. The last season, it's yeah. like not coming after him. It kept coming after him. He just did really well until eventually, if it's always you, the odds are going to, eventually you're going to lose. Like, sure. How about Jay beating, can we, am I jumping ahead? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Can we get into the challenge? Because I loved this yes. challenge of the day. Thank God this challenge came around, Jenna, because last week sucked and they made up for it this week for me. But let's quickly talk about Natalie. Natalie actually leaves. For a personal reason, did you girls look it up? What happened? No, I, I did. It, oh. it, go ahead, guess, Dan. Do you want, why don't you girls both make a guess? Wait, it's really a family member died. Kind of, family member died. No, she's um, she was pregnant. Oh, that's not sad. That's great. It is though, because she had a miscarriage after. So, oh, I know, awful. But that's why she. Oh, had to I know, that's terrible. Because then she didn't win a million dollars or have a baby. I know. But yeah. anyways yes yeah, so our and it sucked to see her sure. it sucked to see her go all across the board though because this was such a kick-ass female competitor who also not only was athletic she just felt like cool as hell like she was gonna tell you straight but not be a dick about it so i really liked her she already had a gold was, skull she already had a gold skull well that's why they put a new one in for wow well, yeah they just, they just okay the other one yeah um, so Ashley gets to come back. Ladies, do you have any love it. Ashley love, yeah. love it. Love. I'm just love like, it. bring Ashley back. Yeah. I was like, she better be coming out of that car. <laughs> and I think also she's matured that now she's like, Big T is playing it up, but she's also being sneaky, which I think is totally accurate. She's like, which I can respect. She's not just walking around pretending to be the queen. She's 
nutty. She's like, and what would you do? I mean, she was veiling it in something non-threatening and silly, but finding out where people's allegiance lie. All I don't right. know. Big T so was great. We get to mission agent down. I called it the ledge challenge. And basically these guys have to pull up the rope and then the girls are hanging there and they have to hold on to them. And um, I don't know. The challenge was awesome. Like, grab each other by the wrist like this. People were like holding hands. I thought maybe a wrist hold would be more so that can slide more than a grip yeah, but then you slide down to hands and then you still have hands for a while. i don't know that was my opinion on it uh, like good i was would be. very impressed by jay and not as impressed by big t as others might think and i'll get into that after but that's my personal opinion ladies any uh, thoughts on this challenge um when it was announced and the rules were said i said if big t and ct don't win this i'll be embarrassed Again, I mean, like the most giant guy and the most tiny woman. And that's why that, it was sort of theirs to cool. lose. And that's why I was doubly proud of Jay and Teresa because Jay is not big. And Jay gave CT a run for his money with a woman that probably, I mean, Teresa's tiny, but Big T is tiny, tiny. He is a rock climber, though, Pam. And I think that he knows grips and he knows holds. So I think that that helped him in this challenge. I mean, he and was I like, I could stay here all day. I could, like, I. But if CT just based on the basic, like when this thing, the rules were given, I was like, I mean, if CT and Big T don't win, I, 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 then something messed up, you know, yeah. then they had a mess up. Few observations though, Big T and CT are the cutest team and they're just my favorite partnership of this season. And I want them to stay together the entire time. And, you know, him trying to hype her up and her having her little like mean, scary face as she's crying, hanging on to yeah. his uh, grip was so hilarious. <laughs> Another observation was Devin is an idiot for trying to sabotage Tori when he has a good partner. Tori's better than you are. I mean, we'll obviously see what happens at the end of the episode, but um, yeah. he was trying to make Tori lose this challenge. Uh, the other thing was did you realize that the vet women actually fell quicker than the rookie women? So Darrell doesn't get to Amber B on time before the ledge drops. So now same thing with Anissa and Tori, but Anissa and Tori both fall and Amber B is able to stay on. Right. And I think that happens with somebody else too. It was either Amber and or Gabby. I can't remember, but they get to hang on longer when all of the veteran girls fall right the hell off that ledge. I'm not so, sure why, why were they not ready? They knew the platform was going to break eventually. Why aren't they just, you know, putting a little more pressure on the hands? Up so there? Jenna, can you tell Did me why Devin Dan? and Tori hate each other? Oh, sorry. That's oh, my back on. Dan froze. Like, why oh. do Devin and Tori hate each other? I think it's playful at this point. I think it's Devin, fabricated. Devin, it is, Devin, but they're... Uh, they, Devin loves they, the villain. He loves being the villain. He likes he likes hating on most people. So nothing like, oh. really substantial happened between them ever. I don't know. He only likes West. They were both on Are You the One, but I don't think they were the same season, or were they? I don't know. No, I don't think it's anything about that because I've never noticed their rivalry before this season. That's why. Does I'm Devin like, like Jordan? Does Devin like Jordan? Does Devin have a thing with Jordan? Because then that could just no. go over to hate for Tori too. You know. I don't re recall I think any rivalry there either. Oh. I think uh, Devin said it was from a Are You the One season that they were on together, oh. about the two oh, of them butt heads. So it must have been from that yeah. season. Okay. Yeah. Um, I love yeah. Darrell this entire challenge, though, when he was like, uh, The worst part for me is going to be getting to Amber because I don't want to see this waterfall. I don't want to see the heights. I just he also, love he also so much. Finished the rope. He also finished the rope pull like last, though. So, yeah. The rope ended up being a little struggle. I know. Too, I think he, he wanted to prolong it so he wouldn't have to go to the end. Yeah. That's I think he was scared. Right. Also, it's like, I don't care. It's ultimate time if I can keep her dangling there. I, think that makes I was sense. proud of Kyle. I thought Kyle did good, although he didn't finish. And I also think as much as this was male dominant for holding the women, I do think Teresa did a really good job because you could see that she was either like terrified or in pain, but she still held on for dear life. Agree. I think those two could be a real threat if it, if it, depending on the challenge, those two are both scrappy and strong. Yeah, we haven't seen cool. we haven't seen Teresa in a long time, so I think she definitely has something to prove. She does not want to come back after like six, seven years and like go out real quick. So 
It's Other right. question, and I'm sorry. I love it when it's like we're best friends. Like, when did Tori and Anissa become best friends? I don't know, but they have that. <laughs> My podcast. best they friend have that after gonna... show podcast now, Pam. So of course they're. I know, friends. but they've been on shows together for a long time. They've but never Pam, declared best friendship. They have to pretend to be best friends so they can do this podcast together and get people. To they weren't to even doing it yet while they were taping. It's not like they bonded already. Producers could have easily talked to them and said, "Hey, after this season, we're going to put you guys on a podcast together." Definitely. We don't really want you to be enemies. Boom, here's another fun conspiracy. Be nice to each other this season. There you go. I think they're challenge best friends as a lot of these friendships are, but I actually think they're really compatible and I kind of really like their friendship. Yeah. I do too. I'm just saying, where did it to sit there and be like, um, Benny's my best friend. So <laughs> Not that I don't love Benny, but like shout out to you? Benny. Shout out to yeah. Benny. Shout out to Benny. Benny. But why are you declaring that he's your best friend when like I don't know? It's yeah, just, I know they were throwing that term around loosely. Yeah, like, like I know you. You're now my best friend. Right, like I've you're my best friend now. before. <laughs> yeah. So like, so my first camp. best friend is Tori. A second best <laughs> friend is Nani. The third best friend <laughs> is Teresa. Right, like. What do you guys think? I'm secretly in love with Fessy. Oh. Right. Oh, let's go. Um, okay. No, so time. ladies, yeah. So my, my hot take from this was that everyone was giving Big T so much praise. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but CT bench is 300 pounds. You weigh 90. If he can't hold you up, I'm sorry, but you really didn't do anything. You just kind of hung there. I hate to be a dick, but you know what? That's what it was. That's not a, you did not prove yourself in this challenge to me. Agree with you. And I think that was a, rookie yay see we we aren't layups see what big t did it's like, mm. <laughs> like yeah yeah so. yeah from the athletic standpoint absolutely but i do like the way that she took the reins on the political side and started like dominating the house and everybody was doting on her and she was like her queen t oh, that's, that's, um that's i liked it club. too did you go what do you guys have thoughts about the club i didn't really have well, anything really well i have i don't know a lukewarm take on that i actually think that ct is being smart by letting big t take the reins on the politics because then he's not incriminating himself he's, he's not looking like the guy he's just going along with the ride so if it works for big t she is awesome, but if it doesn't work for BT, Big T, nothing happens to CT. No one's pointing the finger at him, you know? It's exactly yes. what CT's doing. It's very smart. He knows that people were coming at him early in the season, and now he's like, you know what? I'm going to let the nicest little girl in the house, who's so cute and everyone loves her, do my dirty work, and it's working. Okay, so yes, I agree a million percent. Like, he knew... He agreed with her because obviously it's good for him to get out strong players. When he gave a speech about his vote, he was like, I'm following your lead, Big T. I'm going to let my part, I'm going to agree with my partner who chose, like he made it very clear to a Tory or a Devin or whoever that he didn't choose them. He was just going with his partner. Yeah. Also, CT's no dummy. This is where the experience, like, sorry, rookies, CT was making deals with Nam and Low, which I think people are not thinking about how strong they're going to be at the end when it becomes more physical, more physical, more physical. And he was thinking they'll owe us. We tell them, we want you to get your skull. If you don't want to, we won't. Like he's CT is strategic. It's super smart because mm -hmm. Lolo and Nam, I'm telling you, I really think that they're, they know they're rookies, but they're so intimidatingly strong to me. I just can't get over that. I think CT's making a great move trying to align with them. They're rookies. And for some reason, they're just that's presented to us they're being overlooked like they're not being perceived as the threat they are they're not being but they're also not being like thrown in like tori's like lolo's the one i don't want to go in against and you know what she shouldn't want she's an olympian okay i'm sorry gabby you're not an olympian i'm sorry amber M. Right. you're not an olympian no wonder like can't they why can't they comprehend that they can't they're weak i'm sorry we don't know what they can do so we're gonna say you're weak sorry girls I mean, I as I, Jenna said yeah, earlier, yeah. that is insulting if you're the one being called weak. Yeah, but just, but it's a game, and it's just like that's how it goes. You I know? mean, just politically, you don't want to run around calling people weak because obviously they're not going to appreciate it. But like, yeah, of course. But like, like, yeah, tiny B oh. is like if you had the choice against like a five year old or a wrestler in a wrestling match, what would you pick? What's like, you gonna do exactly? Yeah. Like, um, the point about Lolo, isn't it kind of crazy that 
sometimes I forget she's there or I forget that she's a rookie because she's not in it politically with the other girls, but she is an Olympian. And I, she just not, I'm surprised that she's not professing her confidence as much as a Tory is. So it's interesting. You know You're, it's, it, it's, it's funny you say that Jenna, cause next week, I think they showed what they have to do. If they have to run five miles in the challenge next week. I think that is a huge mm. one for Lolo and Nam to prove themselves as rookies. I think it's huge. And I think Lola will. I think Lola is going to deliver every single time. I think they'll be in the finals yeah. just on sheer talent. And I think just because yeah. people like Fessy and Tori that are good have made enemies, they're going to be targeted. Like Lolo and Nam being under the radar is so freaking smart. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. start boasting and making yourself a target? Because eventually, like we saw with Jay, you're going to go home. If the, you're voted in every week, every week, every week, eventually – you're going to go home. Eventually it's going to be a puzzle. Eventually it's going to be a whatever. And, you're and it's go such home. a good casting call to have Lolo Jones on this season that I wish that we were seeing more challenges where she could just be the shit out of everybody. I like, want more Louise first? though. Louise Hazel. Yes, I think she's the best. Yes. Well, yeah, well, yeah. We, you know, they, they got to put champs versus pros up on, uh, on, the, on Netflix so we can watch more Lolo and, uh, and Louise there. So yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Um, yeah. they, um, deliberation happens. The rookies have the numbers, so they're able to get these two vets in. Do you have any thoughts on uh, on the deliberation aspect of the night? Um, oh, not the deliberation, but I did notice that Teresa's a little sneak, that she's like working with the vets, but then she puts in Anissa. So she's not really working with the vet. She's a little sneak. Oh, yeah. She's always been the sneak. It's like tonight mm -hmm. I was like, I remember you, Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah. She's always been a little sneak, which, hey, you know, she's doing it well. Um, I thought at first, Leroy, you're putting, or Cam, you're putting in Leroy and Anissa. Leroy, you're putting in yourself and Anissa. And then I was like, gosh, these guys are smart. Obviously, <laughs> Leroy, I think Cam spearheaded this saying, listen, we got to It's going to be Tori or Anissa. Who are we picking? We're picking Anissa. Great. You're not going in. It doesn't matter. You're not a right. girl. And I don't want to go in. So like definitely. And Leroy also politically played it well. He's like, I'm going to burn my vote on me. And it's like, nah, you're not burning it. You're voting in. Anissa. I mean, do we, do we assume that next week is going to be a men's elimination or are they just going to do double? They could do another girl's elimination and then go back to guys in theory, because I think they have the same amount of guys and girls at this point. It's more, it's more, sketchy next week because Devin and Leroy did not care this week but if imagine if TJ threw them in as an as a they oh it's a double elimination night men's and women oh my god they would have been so I'm glad you said that because I was so hoping it was going to be another guy's elimination which would have been so ridiculous right there and made zero sense but I was like just do it again get them on their heels how funny yeah. would it be? Because I love when people's plans explode in their faces. So all the yeah. rookie girls work to get a new thing. I was like, nah, make it a guy's elimination. Right, again. right. Um, that yeah, that would be crazy. Let's get to this elimination then. It's called uh, asset destruction. And mm -hmm. these girls have to tip over a bunch of medicine balls in a bucket and then throw them at targets. It reminded me of that game at Chuck E. Cheese. We have to knock out the guy's teeth with a ball. You ever play that game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like skee ball, but with a thing. Oh, well, yeah, you throw, you don't actually throw the ball, and this guy's got teeth, and you knock his teeth out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Reminded me of like a boardwalk game. And yeah, yeah, like a boardwalk game. And I um, was just really upset that Tori, she didn't get enough momentum on that first pull. So she couldn't get it. And she had to start all the way back over. She should have done it right away, but she was just, I think she was just frustrated and scared and nervous <sighs> and everything, all of the above. Too many emotions. I it think was it was one sad. of those things like there was a ledge and you had to come at that ledge with momentum to get it to tip. Like Anissa just almost luckily did it. Like there was like a thing that would make it tip. And if you didn't hit that with force, you were screwed. Right. I was surprised. Very, very strong. Yeah, it was really sad. It looked really bad for Tori. Like, man, she looked rough. And I'm sure she's watching it back like, shit, I look like crap in the beginning of this I swear at first I didn't want to make justifications for Tori and also Anissa was crushing it I mean the entire time I was like okay Anissa, let's go yeah. so no discredit to Anissa she did awesome and I love her and I hope she wins this whole damn season but I swear when she did it it felt like the wind blew and her her crate tipped over and she Tori even said is trying 
and cannot get this thing to tip over. And I'm like, dang, Anissa really just did it. Like snap of a finger. It's there's, there's your conspiracy though, for me personally, because Mm -hmm. I feel like they could easily just tighten the bolts a little more on Tories. They had a great storyline with her talking a lot of smack and what better way to have it go would be her to lose after saying that she can beat all these people. I did. I think that Tori needed more momentum, but it did feel like Anissa's went a little easier and I love throwing conspiracies out there. So why the hell not? Now I don't want to discredit Anissa though, because she do you think, did great. I don't I know how, but how do it would have been made easier for. If they knocked him over at the same time, who wins? If they both fell, at the same time. I mean, you saw the absolutely ridiculous comeback of Tori. No Thanks. offense to Anissa. It would have been a slam dunk for Tori. She would have just ripped through it. How, how were they indicated of which ones they had to hit? You, they had to they, it was a luck. Yeah. Oh, just it's any. Tough. Any you broke? Okay. No, no. There's only 13 that were go through. The rest were like locked doors. So you had to keep trying okay. to cut 13. Got it. Yeah. Um, I think, okay. I just loved watching Anissa perform though because she just kept hitting them. It was yeah. every single time it went through, she could not miss. Uh, but then there, it was a ridiculous comeback for Tori and I really thought Tori might actually fully win that. I did think she might have a chance at that sometimes point. She, yeah, sometimes she was walking though. And I know it's always easier when you're sitting on the couch looking like she was probably so fatigued and gassed. Yeah. But at, at one point, I was like, damn, Tori, if you put a pep in your step, you would have won this. Well, my whole thing was she spent so long trying to tip over that thing. She, 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 you know, she gassed herself out doing that. Anissa had one tug, it's down. And, you know, I thought the smart thing to do would be to throw higher first and work your way down at least as much as you could because then you're not trying to throw so high, but you don't know which ones are going to break. I guess you could have tried each individual one. My conspiracy slash non-spiracy, because I think it was just sort of obvious, I think you could tell the ones that would break. I think you could yep. see like a cut in. Yeah, we're going to have to go back and revisit that. But I was Ooh. like, oh, is that the indicator? Because I was like, because ha- people in the crowd were saying bottom right, bottom right. Like you could see something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'd have to rewatch it. I'd have to rewatch it. Good for Anissa though, man. She is sweeping yeah. through this competition and I don't think just good. a lot of people saw it coming. And I'm so happy for her because I love her so much. I feel like yeah. her personality, her energy is great. Uh, and I appreciated Tori's like walkout chant that even though Tori lost, she handled it well, but she still could like talk shit on her way out. But on behalf of her friend, like a pump up for her friend. So I like that, that right. most people are cocky for themselves after they win, but she lost and she was pumping up her friend on her way There's out. There's a respect on her name. Yeah. Well, no, Tori's cool. I love Tori. I felt bad that she was targeted tonight i don't think she didn't bring it on herself i do think she brought it on herself i don't feel like it was unjust however i felt bad because i feel like it was also kind of like what i was trying to help people like in her i don't think she except for the rookies and calling them layups and weak and whatever i think her strategy last week was to help people like that she was trying to set up the best move for people Here's, here's my issue with Anissa is she's been on the show forever and she's obviously racked up a lot of elimination wins, which is great. Good for her. But the issue with her is that the final is going to be based on endurance and she just doesn't have it. There's, there's no way there's ever going to be a final where it's like, okay, stand there, do something, then stand here and do something. They're going to season 34, (laughs) season 34 final. Well, yes, that was the one. Knife fight, walk again across cold. That was like their... I don't know what that was. Unlock <laughs> or throw a key over sticks or something. Throw a stick in a hole. That hole-tack. was a low yeah, moment. Yeah. But a majority of the time, ladies, in the 36 seasons, you're going to have to run a lot, and Anissa's going to be hurting. Heck yeah. did, you hear, did you hear Cam throw shade at Anissa? She goes, oh, did man, you? I hope Tori doesn't come back because she is super fit. She's super yeah. safe. Oh, so you're saying Anissa's not. Well, She's just well, saying I- one is stronger than... I'm I mean, not disagreeing. I don't think that should, I think Anissa would say, yes, Tori is more fit than I am. Yes. <laughs> it was still throwing I think shade, Anissa though. Would I didn't have to take some shade, and it is what it is. It, she could have verb, verbed it, verbalized it as, I want to get rid of the stronger player. Sure. Cam was cracking me up this episode, though. I feel like she had some good comedic relief moments. Cam was I agree. Um, what was I going to say about Anissa? Oh, I was going to say to your point, Dan, how she doesn't have the endurance to run a final. I'm like, 
Just let that dog have a fight, though. Let yeah. it let have a fight. Let I mean, it yeah. let Ladies, just get that money this time, okay? How many finals has she been to? She must have. She's been to some, I, I think, right? I mean, she's been to Never so say never. Like the wise philosopher Justin, Justin Bieber, Bieber once said. <laughs> never. <laughs> Well, Never like if that. you're, if you compensated, if it was the kind of final where like you ran to a checkpoint for eight hours one day and then it was other things like eating and puzzles and whatever, and it was ultimate time and they did better. I mean, it's not impossible is my point. If she I agree. I agree hundred percent. You got Rogan who lost and then the, like lost before even the first challenge one season and then he wins it another season. So right. Whatever. It's great. Ladies, we have three no. minutes left. Do you have any any fun final thoughts? Oh, yes. no, I oh, go, Jenna, go first, then Pam, because I want to get... Oh, mine's super say. quick. Did we mention that it's Amber B's 33rd birthday? No. How are her, Amber B? Happy okay. birthday. Happy birthday. The best, part, the best part of this episode was Anissa plucking Fessy back as her partner <laughs> when you know he did not want that. And she knew he didn't want it, but she was like, whatever, bitch, you're coming back as my it. partner. I loved that Me so too. much. It was fantastic. And that I was amazing. That. And I think that I love that Devin's a rogue agent. Devin doesn't want to have a partner. He was gonna, he's probably gonna throw his next partner into somehow. He doesn't want to have anybody. He doesn't want to be with anybody. And he's got his gold skull. Like, what does he need to fight for? What does uh, he yeah, need whatever, to whatever, Devin? Yeah. But <laughs> girls aren't fans of him, huh? I like I just I just like Devin. Uh, I, Devin's I've owned yeah, I've always like liked him in the past, but I'm kind of eye rolling him this season. Fair enough. I, mean, I, 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 I have a little play. I don't hate him. Like he's not a Josh level. Yeah. This is Josh. I don't like hate Devin, but if it's someone I like love and respect, like a CT or, you know, he's like eh, mid tier. He's scuzzy. So, <laughs> scuzzy huh? I think he thinks he's doing more than he is. Sorry, Devin. Devin. You're not really like, alone. yeah, you're, you're not leader of this house. And I'll defend him. I think he's playing a fantastic game thus far. As you should, into you a defend win. your man. Yeah, I mean, I think he lucked into a win, and God bless him for that. But yeah. he's, uh, well, he's only got one. Or, God bless you, Devin. <laughs> but he only got maybe one or two of the tenants of the challenge, so like he can maybe sneak into a win sometimes. But he's never going to be a champ. He's never going to be. What? That's Whoa. a hot take. We're going to end it on that. We're going to end it on that. They're going to be talking in the comments on that. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. You're the best. I love having you two in my life every week on Wednesday nights. Thank you all for joining us as well. And uh, we will see you next week for episode six. And Pam is still going. Jenna's still going. I'm still going. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.